Wait, wait, wait. Let's start here. Now? Okay, we have our new product that we launched at the LA Expo uh, last week in Los Angeles, Conscious Life Expo, called DSpark. DivineQuantum.com is the website. And I believe Dina just explained to us what her website is. If you want to do it again, just make sure that you get it. Uh, sure, massage by Vina.square.site. Good. Okay. And after she left Gil, uh, Thackeray? Thackeray. Thackeray, who was also at the LA Expo. She's here at the Deerfield Beach New Life Expo. Um, we went over to the Aura camera woman to see uh, the before and after what it did. And there's a whole graph there. Um, we have a before picture. And on the graph, it said that she had the, the blocked throat chakra. Yeah, it was underactive. It just showed. It was like, so the okay. like the right measure that you want is in the 70s, and it was in the 20s, my throat chakra. It was the lowest out of all my chakras. Right, right, yeah. So the uh, aura camera and the computer software picked up on that, right? And then what we did was uh, she took the Dispark, Divine Energy Spark product, which is ionic minerals that your body needs. And then the number two, uh, 10 minutes after she took it, uh, was a new uh, photograph. And you can see the difference here. This is number one, this is number two. And then it showed that her chakra uh, was Throat chakra was unblocked. Yeah, it was re it was reactivated and it rebalanced my chakra. So like the numbers were raised for my throat chakra, and uh, yeah, we saw a better balance of energies throughout my body in just a short like ten five minutes. ten minutes after. Right, and we did this at the LA Expo, uh, another type of aura camera, killing it photography. And the woman who's been there for 30 years says, well, let's do it an hour later. Well, we did it two hours later, and she was blown away because our product lasted more than she thought it would, the basic one hour, and I know it lasts 72 hours. Uh, we've done research on that. So. And I have taken this product before, and uh, I didn't realize its powers. I was experiencing a lot of chronic fatigue and just like brain fogginess. And then as soon as I took it, and it was at night, it just kind of like lit up my brain. It just, it literally gave me a spark. And uh, I, I just started taking it daily and I can notice a humongous difference. It's definitely, to me, and I've tried a lot of, you know, um, health, alternative health products out there. It's, it's one of the most powerful ones and it's, you know, the one that I, I go to every day for, for more energy, focus, and balance. Gives you all the ionic minerals your body needs. And the other thing uh, we have here, it's not a thing, he's a person, is uh, Gerald O'Donnell, and he's gonna tell you about how important your, th your throat chakra is. So I'm gonna take the camera from him, and he's just gonna tell you, can I grab the camera? Sure. <laughs> Turn it around? <laughs> and you can tell people how important. Like I'm sure a lot of people go to your website, probablefuture.com yeah. and you can explain how important your throat chakra is. Right? Well, all the chakras are important. Right. And they're more than seven, they're really nine, like, I mean, basically ten when you, when you, you go a little higher. And they're, all, they're all physical, but at the same time they're ethereal and at the same time they're, they represent dimensions in every single chakra. The dimension of the throat, this is, if you consider that we created in God's image, so with the Godhead would be here from here up and that that's where the creational abilities are it's on this level in our in our perception of, of biology that would be the the, the brain mm -hmm. that's what we create actively the action comes from the below the throat with our feet our hands and then our, whole, our whole spine and, the, and the, the, whole, the rest of the biology and the um, the, uh, you, you have a, a, a box here where your sound comes out, coming from, from, come from your throat. The breath is taken in through the mouth, goes down to the level, the bottom of the lines next to the heart, where the upper, en the upper energies and the lower energies crisscross. Mm -hmm. There is like a vesica Pisces. Right. You call it a 
discover or a three-dimensional Star of David. And then, and then from that point on, the air comes out again, and then you can express the thought. So you, 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 you first visualize, or you, 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 in your imagination, you create what you want to create. Mm -hmm. You bring it down to this level, where you'll be able to activate it and then work with it. And then you start expressing it with a vibration, with a sound vibration. And this part is a modulation, the lower part of the jaw. Okay, this is this just the, shows the letter Shin, the Hebrew letter Shin, the three letters, the middle here, and then the two sides, and that that is where we we, we vibrate, and we able the tongue is what will separate the upper level from the lower level and make different sounds. Mm -hmm. So we have a, a tremendous creative ability within ourselves within the throat chakra, and when the throat chakra is not expressing itself, either in concepts or towards people by explaining certain things that we have inside but we can we don't know how to bring it down if you want to, to put it into concrete action or concrete teachings mm -hmm. uh, there's a problem but you need to use use that right. throat and also that's also where sounds come it sounds like creative the, be, the, the beginning of, of creation is not light it's sound sound creates light mm -hmm. at least the level of light that we have here or we perceive as light mm -hmm. so so this is uh, where, where this is like the hidden key, the throat, and uh, it's really something that's hidden. And then in the, the tree of life in Kabbalah, they show it as the, the, the site of knowledge, the tree of knowledge, that which is knowledge. That, uh, that that knowledge is hidden, it's in the back. That's why certain movies, that when they show people getting connected to. Uh, to their, oh, the their set in the matrix, yeah, yeah. the connection is in the back, back of, yeah. back of the throat. Right. That's what it is. That's why they. Connect. But that's the hidden side. Very, very, very. Okay, so that, yep. that's just an introduction to the throat. Good. All right. Well, it was good that that happened that way. Uh, we thank you, Gerald. Sure. Uh, go to Gerald's site, probablyfuture.com, if you guys want to learn remote viewing. Uh, and also the messages of uh, and the messages yeah, that yeah. he puts out there that, that, that he gets from the one from the creator. And we're gonna hand it back. We're gonna okay. sign off on this uh, on our little video here. Thank you, Lita, for being here. Thank you, Chad. Thank you, Thanks, Carol. everybody. Thank you. Bye, guys. We'll see you like in the next expo. And, and we're, we're gonna spark in between. Yes, we're gonna despark it. Yeah, we're gonna despark everything. <laughs> we're gonna be despark. All right.